This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. We will each be challenged. Our trust. Our faith. Our friendships. But we must persevere. And in time, a new hope will emerge. May the Force be with you, always. If you just give me another chance... ...in a hundred and eighty million dollars... ...I can make this. A long time ago... ...in a galaxy far, far away... Feel. Don't think. Fear is my ally. The Force will be with you. We are encouraged to love. Be mindful of your thoughts. I will not betray the Republic. Hey, Your Worship, I'm only trying to help. Scruffy looking nerf herder! I'm not afraid. You must unlearn what you have learned. I thought one just drew a pentagram on the floor and chanted, I summon thee three times. <laughs> Odd combination of odors. Mm. Smells like a fish died and all the other fish sent flowers. So apparently, um, we have more going on with Star Wars theory, and the uh, crazies at Star Wars explained it's it's bled mm. onto the subreddit uh, Salter Than Crate, where they're brigading his uh, own subreddit. Uh, he got this from. YouTube, and it appears that despite the agreement that the Vader fan movie wouldn't be monetized, somebody decided to monetize it and start taking money off it. And now it's a fan film. So, but they're doing this to hurt Star Wars theory. Um, and I am not going to sit there and blame Disney, though a lot of people are. I mean, whatever. I think it's probably some salty asshole uh, at the uh, Lucasfilm story group with one of the, the uh, little bitches that are in the executive leadership uh, 
area uh, doing it. But this is this has now become a nuclear war. I mean, all out war, and it's bullshit. And it was started by Star Wars Explained, Alex and Molly Damon, because they're jealous that Star Wars theory gets more gets more uh, views than they do. And he said the whole channel is getting mass flags from subreddit Salter Than Craig. And uh, his own subreddit's been getting bombed like that too. Um, basically what they did is they rallied anybody, I think probably with bots and fake accounts and several accounts to, and burner accounts to attack him. And they, they basically blame YouTube for the demise of the trash of light. And it's like, look guys, the movies, the TV show sucked. You know, people are now, I mean, let it go. It's dead. It's stinking up the joint. And you're not gonna save it by acting like a bunch of nutbags, okay? But here we are, you know, Groundhog Day with Molly, Alex, and probably Pablo Hidalgo. It's just, I mean, ridiculous. Anyway, uh, and it's 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 bad because what they're, they're they've been doing it to everybody though, they've they've done it to to me. I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, these are the same people that got Cameron Pasha uh, bounced off of Twitter because he was basically telling them what was going to happen once Kennedy goes. They they were they would never work in Hollywood again. Because everybody knows that these people are insane, and they're proving it now. Okay, they're a bunch of political uh, fanatics. I mean, you know, and Molly's all upset because theory makes more makes money, and that's all she cared about. Well, she also likes the fact that she was um, hanging out, you know, at at the at uh, the, one of the Star Wars celebrations with their own fan panel. I mean, this woman is only there to glorify herself. Okay, that's it. That's 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 the only reason why she's there. Okay, that's the reason why any of these people are there. They're not Star Wars fans. They don't care about d doing right by the franchise. They're narcissists. They're uh, not aware of how stupid they look. And Molly has put herself into a pretty bad place to the point where she's had to protect her own tweets. And this is a woman who, who emasculated her own husband once. I mean, how could a man do this to himself? I don't, it's, it's really gross, in my opinion. I, it's like, you gotta be kidding me, dude, you know? And how does this mass flagging event uh, hook up with the, that Kathleen Kennedy is taking the uh, credit for the Iger bombing from last Sunday? Embarrassing for you. I, I left you a message not to come. Uh, I'm passing on the God. In keeping with the trusty adage, starve a cold, disgust a fever. So, here's the deal. We have this uh, Game of Thrones type story coming out uh, of executive insanity going on at Disney. And the only person who has stepped forward as taking any sort of blame for the story or credit is Kathleen Kennedy. And um, d did she do it? Is she, is she the one who did it? I don't know. But she was, from what I've, I've heard from another uh, YouTuber, is that she was very upset about them canceling season two of The Acolyte. Uh, Obviously, making money for Disney and, and doing a competent job, or hearing Bob Iger and Bob Chapek say no and abiding by that no is something Kathleen Kennedy is unable to do. So here we are. We are sitting here going, what? And now you've got the biggest Star Wars channel on YouTube being attacked and smeared and flagged, and uh, whoever decided to monetize the content for the Vader movie. Um, really, just, it's, it's obviously somebody at Lucasfilm, because I do not think Disney would do this. Uh, 
I really think that um, someone's going to have to uh, raise the awareness of this to the people that actually had chased Ken- Kennedy out last year, the guys from the seventh floor, the, the, the Nas Ghoul. Because I think this is a coordinated effort. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something. A few months ago, I think a few months ago, I noticed uh, Kennedy's husband had posted a reel from Taylor Swift's song, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me? And it always struck me as odd. Now, he might like his mu- her music. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, I always wondered if there was something more to it than that. That's definitely, the title is definitely uh, Screw You to Somebody, okay? And do I think Kennedy was part of the attack on Iger last Sunday? I, I can't, I mean, she took credit for it. So if she's not, she incriminated herself for no reason. If she was told about it and took credit about credit for it, she either set herself up as a patsy or she fucked other people over. Or if she was part of it, she was talked to by these, uh, uh, asked questions by the two reporters that wrote the article. Um, she still screwed the other people over because, again, that was too detailed an effort to be just her. Okay, here's the deal. This thing with Iger comes out while Star Wars theory is being attacked by uh, uh, Molly and Alex Damon of Star Wars Explained and being uh, uh, brigaded on Reddit, on his own subreddit, and uh, Reddit in general, and other uh, of his videos are being flagged. And they monetize the Vader video without, when they said the agreement was, they weren't going to monetize it. Um, so I don't think it's Disney exactly. I think it's uh, Lucasfilm somehow, some way, doing, pulling some skullduggery because there's shit going down. Okay. Molly, and it's not just because the Acolyte not getting a second season. It doesn't deserve a second season. But again, you can't tell people with shit for brains anything, okay? So, in my opinion, the Iger attack, these attacks on Star Wars theory are coming from the same place, uh, in, in a way. And uh, maybe they're not intentionally coordinated. But, again, you got to think, what are the odds? And again... I don't believe in any coincidences, okay? So my opinion is Kennedy is is trying to take people down with her. They know they're going to announce her departure soon. And all hell's breaking loose because, look, Star Wars is the last stand for the SJWs. They've lost Marvel, it looks like to me. They've lost Pixar. Okay, and you can't convince me that Molly Damon was a Star Wars fan before she met Alex. Okay, none of these girls are. As another YouTuber said, the people who made fun of you in high school for liking Star Wars are running Star Wars now. And again, we have Pablo Hidalgo uh, hiding under the mass exodus of douchebags to blue skies, why did he why did he shut down his public account? And again, why, oh why, oh why, oh why does he still have a private account on X if he's that determined to uh, not be part of the free speech crowd? This is these are questions that need to be answered. This is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy.